pasteurizing milk at home is something that you can very easily do with just a few simple tools and I'm going to tell you how today in this video. I'm Kelsey from roughandtumblefarmhouse.com where every single week I share stories about farming, family food, and fortitude here in our five acre homestead in northern Minnesota. First off, usually when I talk about this sort of stuff, I'm in my kitchen when I tell you how to do sort of a kitchen type thing, but it's the end of October right now and I think it's like 70 degrees outside and so I could not bring myself to spend the time in my kitchen, plus then I'd have to clean my kitchen and I'm just not up for that. So we're gonna talk about this today out here on our beautiful patio. First of all, what is pasteurization? So pasteurization is a process, it's named after a guy named Louis Pasteur, Pasteur, I'm not French, so I don't know how to pronounce his name for sure, but pasteurization. And he came up with this process and discovered this process process as a way of heating things to kill off bacteria in it and it will kill the bacteria number one and number two it extends the shelf life on the product. So the history of milk pasteurization goes back quite a long ways and sorry you're going to hear some shots going off our neighbors are doing some target practice. <laughs> but anyway the history of pasteurization goes back primarily to around the time it came about around the industrial revolution. Up until the Industrial Revolution, milk usually wasn't pasteurized, it was just consumed raw. But then because of the living conditions of cows that were moved into the city to help feed all the people that were now living more so in metropolitan areas, they had terrible living conditions. The people that had the milk didn't always have reliable refrigeration. There was some pretty sketchy stuff going on in terms of handling the milk. They would add water to it, which of course, a lot of the water had a lot of bacteria in it because cleanliness standards really weren't that great. Uh, they also would add things like sawdust to it and so a lot of people were getting sick from milk And so that's why pasteurization of milk became kind of the standard was to help make sure that milk wasn't making people sick by completely killing Absolutely all the bacteria and all that weird funky stuff that was in there So why might you want to pasteurize your milk? Well, it could be that you have a dairy animal, but you really don't want to do raw milk You want to do a pasteurized milk and that's perfectly fine So you can pasteurize it for human consumption some people pasteurize milk if you have like a sheep or a goat that might have something that can be transmitted through the milk, something like CAE. If you pasteurize the milk, it kills that bacteria and it can't be transmitted from the mom to the baby. So there's some reason you might want to do it. Um, the reason why I have done some pasteurization in milk before is because if I milk my cow or my goat, and then I bring the milk into the house and I filter it and the filter is just a little bit dirtier than I'd want. I'm not talking like gross scummy. I'm talking like just a smidgen, you know, a couple more cow hairs <laughs> that I'd be comfortable with or it just looks like there's a little more grit in there. Then instead of having that milk be raw, I will pasteurize it. Now that isn't to say that you should just pasteurize really gross milk. Like if my cow, you know, flicks her tail in the milk or if a bunch of flies land in the milk or some poop gets in the milk or something, I'm absolutely not drinking that milk. That goes to the chickens. But if it, you just wanna be a little bit extra safe with your milk, pasteurization is a great option. So when it comes to pasteurizing your milk, the, the main thing you're basically gonna do, and I'll show you here, is you're gonna take your milk, however much it is, and you're gonna put it into a stainless steel container. Please always use stainless steel or glass when you're handling raw milk. You heat it on the stove. A double boiler option is really ideal because that will help prevent scalding in the milk, but if you don't have a double boiler, just make sure you're stirring it regularly. Heat it on the stove to, there's a couple different temperature options, but what I usually do is heat it to 145 degrees, Fahrenheit, which is 63 degrees Celsius, and then maintain it at that temperature for 30 minutes. And at that point, your milk is pasteurized. So then just cool it quickly again, like you usually do with raw milk, get it in the fridge right away, and you are all set. If for some reason when you are heating your milk, it dips below that 145, I'm so sorry, you have to start your 30 minute timer over again. It can certainly go over 145, but 145 is sort of the bare minimum that you want to heat the milk to for it to be effectively pasteurized to kill off all the bacteria. And we can talk about, you know, next how you can go hotter than that. But if it dips lower than that, you're you're risking not killing off all that bacteria. It needs to stay at that temperature for a solid 30 minutes. That 145 is believed to be the best temperature to keep your optimal flavor and taste of your milk. So it'll be closer to that raw milk flavor you're looking for. And it is also believed by some that it will help maintain a higher nutrient level by not heating it to such a high temperature. Now another option is high temperature short time pasteurization, which you're gonna be heating that milk up to 165 degrees and maintain it for 15 seconds. I will link below to the International Dairy Food Association. They have a whole webpage all about different levels of pasteurization. They talk about ultra pasteurization and things like that as well. But for home use purposes, 145 or 165 are kind of your best options. One thing to be aware of is just because you pasteurize your milk this way does not mean it is legally pasteurized by the legal definition. If you are selling milk and want to sell a pasteurized milk, you have to buy a commercial 
pasteurizer. So it has to be something that is made for commercial production and pasteurization of milk. And it also has to be um, inspected and you have to be licensed as someone to operate that machine. So there's like a written test you have to take. Someone has to come and observe you doing it. And then I believe there's at least yearly inspections of the pasteurizer and the process to make sure it's all working appropriately. So yes, you have technically pasteurized your milk, but you can't sell it as pasteurized milk. If you're planning on doing a lot of pasteurization, they do have little home pasteurization machines that'll do like two gallons at a time. But again, those are not commercial grades, so those are just things for your own home personal use or for using for pasteurizing milk for your animals. One thing about pasteurized milk is because you have killed off the good and the bad bacteria is that this is milk that is going to spoil rather than sour. So if you're used to having a raw milk, raw milk doesn't actually spoil exactly, just kind of gets sour and tangier and eventually kind of makes its own funky little cheese. And so, if you pasteurize it though, it's just gonna straight up spoil like milk from the store. It's gonna smell nasty and gross. You're just gonna have to dump it. Your chickens probably won't even want it. Last thing is the question, is pasteurized milk safer or better for you than raw milk? And that is a question that I am not going to dip my toe into, but I thought it might be something you're curious about. Reasonable people are gonna disagree on this. It, that really gets to the foundation of the question about raw milk and whether it's safe or whether it has more benefits to you or is easier for people to digest, all those sort of questions. And you will easily find lots of resources on both sides that both look very legitimate. <laughs> I will say that we drink raw milk in our home and produce raw milk and have bought raw milk and have sold raw milk. Uh, and also raw milk is legal in several states in the United States. It's, it's also sold legally in the UK, France, Germany, Switzerland, all over the place. So um, just try and keep that in mind. I always like to sort of look at other Western countries and see sort of what their standard for thing is because a lot of times it's a lot different than what we talk about in the United States. But so just to recap, to pasteurize your milk very simply, put it in a stainless steel container on your stove, heat it to 145 degrees Fahrenheit, maintain that temperature for 30 minutes, put it back in your jar and cool it and you have pasteurized milk. Please comment below if you have any questions. Hopefully this was helpful for you. We always appreciate if you like, share, subscribe. It helps our channel get found by more people. And as always, you will find us here next week with more farming, family food, and fortitude here at our rough and tumble farmhouse.